Hi there, I'm Alex Stewart at Velocitech. This video is going to show you the new smart damping feature on the shift. So without any damping, the shift is, uh, is very sensitive. It, it uh, updates new headings very quickly, but it's also very sensitive to small changes in heading. So let's see what happens when we increase the damping. To do that, we're going to press the reset button and hold it down for five seconds. And then we'll get into this damping adjustment mode. So right now D0 is no damping. And then we have two levels of damping, D1 and D2. So let's, uh, let's crank it all the way up, try D2. So now D2 is set. Um, and so now you'll see that um, oscillatory back and forth motion like your bow would experience going through chop um, doesn't, doesn't really uh, change the, the heading that much. It's, it's stable. But then if you do del deliberate maneuver like attack or jibe, um, the, uh, the heading still updates very quickly and settles instantly on the new, on the new heading. So that, that's a smart damping. Uh, it takes care of the, the oscillatory motion and uh, still um, allows you to do maneuvers and, and locks onto the new heading right away. And what's also cool about this is um, even though it's damping out the oscillatory motion, it's still taking the, the mean of the oscillatory motion, so it's still a very accurate average heading number. Um, so you can see if, if I'm doing a solitary motion, but I, I um, start um, changing the average heading, the, the, the number on the screen adjusts. Um, but if the average, if you're just oscillating about a constant average, uh, the numbers aren't going to change. It, that, that just gets damped right out. So that's the new uh, smart damping feature on the shift.